Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you episode number 29 of this journey to the Ultimate Ultimate Team World Cup Edition. And as you guys see up on screen, I want to start this episode by opening one of those single player World Cup packs. And also, if you guys haven't you know, seen episode 27 or 28, I'll fill you in at the minute. I'm using actually one of my subscribers' accounts, Mr. Crexativia. So thank you, Jonathan, for allowing me to use your account. And also, guys, leave his links in the description. So, you know, go in and say thank you to him or leave it in the comment section as I really do appreciate him allowing me to use his account. And long story short, my account on Modern Warfare 2, it got into a pretend prestige lobby by accident and suddenly, you know, next thing I see the next day is my account has been banned for 15 days. So... Yeah, it's going to be quite difficult to play FIFA because now I think till mid-September I don't have my standard FIFA account. So I'm going to be using either my... Um, if you guys saw my skill games that I well actually was planning to do, I actually did four episodes and then never uploaded them. Uh, I'll have those... You know, probably I'll do that for FIFA 15. We'll keep that for FIFA 15 as uh, that's something I'll probably look forward to as well. But uh, trying to get the early access for FIFA 15. So let me know how many of you guys are going to get early access for 15. And also, if any of you have played the beta for FIFA 15. One more thing before I forget. How many of you guys are going to be going to Eurogamer in London? Because I think I've only got tickets for one day and I'm not too sure. I think I'm busy on that day as well. So... Fingers crossed I can make something work and somehow manage to get to Eurogamer and get my hands on a bit of FIFA 15 before it actually... Well, actually, I think it will be released by then, so... <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how it goes. But uh, over up on screen, you guys can see there, we are going into the World Cup edition. We're going to be trying to win it, and if you guys saw the last episode, we should be in the final, but somehow my World Cup got edition got... Well, the World Cup edition got restarted, and so I'm starting from the group stages all over again, so... Yeah, I wasn't too pleased about that. And then on top of it, Pepe, I tried clearing it away. And he scores an own goal. So, really not too happy going into this match, guys. It was being, it was like a week before I played, uh, for, before episode 27. And, you know, getting back into FIFA, I said, you know, hopefully it's going to be easy or not too difficult. Then when this stuff happens, uh, it's just, you know, how FIFA does treat us. So, over here, we are 1-1. And my opponent over there, look at me, muscles are through it closer. Goes for the shot, falls down to Nani. And uh, luckily, our defenders are on point. And Badstuba and Hiwades, really nice combo in the defense. And two defenders you pretty much wouldn't expect. Normally, everyone would put someone like Hummels or Boateng. But uh, Hiwades does a very great job. And look at that goal. You guys are going to see a lot of awesome goals in this video as well. Just like you probably saw in 27 or 28 if you did catch it. So over here we've got Lampard. He'll clicker. See the keeper off his line. Test him out with a long shot. And that's just how we do it. We just make these long shots look so simple. And I have sped this bit up because we do get a rage quit. So Lampard I think takes the man of the match. And he totally deserved it. Really great player from midfield. And we'll go into the next match over here. And I'm cutting out. If you guys have noticed. I'm sort of cutting out the point where I'm searching for an opponent. Because it does take a lot of time. And I don't want you guys sitting there for you know. You know, majority of the video just watching me searching for an opponent because I feel that is boring and I'm trying to improve, you know, as much as I can. So that's why I'm not going to be showing you guys, you know, going through all those bits of searching an opponent, getting matched up, if the person has good latency or not. Now, over here, you can see with Ronaldo, we get through with him over here. We're going to go with a McGeady spin, I think. Go through, we're going to use a ball roll, another ball roll to get through that one. And then go with a heel clicker, go for the shot, split between the defender and the keeper. And that's just Ronaldo's skill ability. It's just fantastic. It's dribbling, finishing, control. Uh, you name it, guys. He is an awesome player in the game. And the only thing that would make it even better is if Zlatan was on the World Cup edition. I think I wouldn't put it down at all. So <laughs> that's just how I would feel. But look at this from Gundogan. Gets it over the top into him. And he finds the back of the net. So a 2-0 up at this point. And then over here you can see we get Lampard. Go for the finesse shot. Falls down to Nani. Goes for the shot. Open goal. How the hell did Nani miss that? Yeah, I'm looking at the replay, I'm like, what? But uh, it falls down to Robin, and he's not going to miss those. So he gets us at least the goal back. Nanny, what were you doing? So at halftime, we're 3-0 up. In a good position in this match, I have to say. We're not doing too badly. And over here, we get it into Rooney. See the keeper charging, decided to chip him far post. And it hits off the crossbar. So wasn't really up to plan over there. But and nonetheless, we were Cristiano Ronaldo. We go with a scoop, get past the defender. Another roll, a ball roll, drag back. Try to work our way into a heavy tackle. 
and the keeper's pretty much going to gather that. So nothing added on to that match. Pretty much the same score as it was, I think, at half time, which is 3-0. So we'll take that. It's top of the table. And if you guys haven't heard in the other videos, my objective at the minute is to just win the World Cup and record it so you guys get to see it. So had a video out on the uh, on the 4th, which should be episode number 27. Uh, episode on the 20... Oh, Episode 28 on the 5th, and this is episode 29th on the 6th, and then episode 30 should be out tomorrow. Fingers crossed we can hopefully win the World Cup or, you know, get somewhere further, and hopefully it doesn't take us 10 years to win the World Cup, because I know there has been competitions in FIFA which have taken me a long time to win. But, you know, I feel quite confident. Let's see how it goes. Now, that was actually a cross from Ronaldo. If you guys have been wondering, you know, what was that? Why was he going for such an extravagant bit of play over there? I was actually just trying to go for a um, go for a cross, and Ronaldo tends to hit it on an overhead towards a keeper, and then Nani finally finds the back of the net. So thank you, Nani, getting us the equaliser there. This time he didn't miss the open goal, and in this match we were more pretty much more shots on target compared to our opponent. But over here he does find himself Muller free past my keeper, goes for the shot into Sturridge on the rebound. And he does pick up the lead. So he's 2-1 ahead now. And over here, look at this play from Ronaldo. Finding it into Robin. Doing a bit of a dummy over there into Rooney. And then gets it back to himself. Going to go 1-1 one -on -one with Neuer, who was a difficult keeper to score past in this game. I have to say, really did challenge me. And made me almost feel, you know, he's a bit too strong in the game. But, you know, hopefully something will be a bit nerved in the next FIFA. And I hope goalkeepers are much better than they are in this game. Because... This game, they're just crap. You can score like almost 20 goals in a match if you're just destroying your opponent's keeper. So uh, that may be a bit of an exaggeration, but you know, even even five goals is feasible. It's not very difficult. So anyway, guys, we're going to go open some of these player packs and see what we get. We get ourselves uh, that's a Russian left mid over there. We're going to go and open another pack. Got two more left, and then I think we might use up all the coins I have at the minute. So. Let's see if we get anything. We got Strutman, which is not a bad pull. Uh, I like Strutman. He's got some really awesome long shots in standard ultimate team. And into the third pack, we do get ourselves... Who is that? Gimenez. So, yeah, all in all, nothing too fancy. We did get ourselves Strutman, but uh, he's not going to be paying the bills or you know, paying dividends in this game. And then over here, we get ourselves um, you know, just one player over there from Nigeria. So... Not too sure on that one. But anyway, guys, I think what I'm going to do is leave this World Cup Ultimate Team, go into the um, Standard Ultimate Team, open the pack, get ourselves a 5k, and there you can see there we're on 5.5. So we'll open one pack, and then we'll wrap the video up there. So hopefully we can get something good. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. By means, please do drop it a like. I really do appreciate your guys' support. And also, um, subscribe if you're new for more daily FIFA 14 content. But this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for tomorrow's video. And so yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Bye.